empty space isn't really empty. Believe it or not, the entire universe is actually glowing, filling the night sky with microwave radiation. You can't see it with the naked eye, but scientists can observe it using telescopes. The question is, where is all of this light coming from? To find out, we'll have to travel back to the beginning of the universe. All right, picture this. The universe is now a baby, and a hydrogen atom is wandering along. Suddenly, the atom notices that it's hot, like hotter than the surface of the sun. So naturally, the atom freaks out and starts running all over the place. As it moves, the atom generates light. You've actually seen this happen before. This flame is hot, so the molecules in it are moving rapidly. This movement generates the light that lets you see the flame. The early universe was so hot that everything was glowing. Anyway, back to our crazy hydrogen atom. At these high temperatures, the atom's movements become so frenzied that it ionizes and loses an electron. The universe is now filled with a murky soup of free electrons. Photons don't like free electrons. When a photon runs into a free electron, it will scatter and go off in a random direction. So even though the universe is glowing, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Luckily for us, the universe didn't stay like this. Why? Well, the universe is expanding, and as it expands, it cools. Think of it this way. A teaspoon of salt in a glass of water would taste very salty, but spread it out over a bathtub, and it would be much less salty. Heat works the same way. As the universe cooled, the protons began to calm down. They rejoined with the electrons in a process called recombination, forming neutral hydrogen. Because of recombination, there were no more free electrons to scatter light, so all the scattered light was now free to travel into the universe, creating what scientists call the cosmic background radiation. Okay, so why isn't the night sky glowing? Well, the universe is old. This light was emitted over 13 billion years ago. That means the light hitting us right now had to travel 13 billion light years to reach us. Why does this matter? Remember, the universe is expanding. This means distant objects like the light source are rapidly moving away from us, causing a phenomenon called redshift. To understand redshift, consider this rope. Right now, it has a constant wavelength, but if I move backwards, the wavelength gets stretched out. The same thing can happen to light. So the cosmic background radiation started out orange, but was redshifted into the infrared and then microwave spectrums, which we can't see. The realization that the cosmic microwave background was actually redshifted light from the beginning of the universe was a monumental discovery. It proved that the universe was hotter and denser in the past, providing the best evidence yet that the Big Bang Theory is correct. What's more, scientists used the amount of redshift to calculate the age of the universe with stunning accuracy. Who would have thought all of this could come from a little bit of background noise? 